If you have trouble sleeping, whether it's falling asleep or sleeping through the night, here you have 40 good, simple and effective tips, all of which contribute to a calm and good night's sleep. Sleep disorders and insomnia have become all too common. Most people know about the benefits of sleeping well and the link between stress and sleep, but don't know how to relax, slow down and improve their sleep. Stress, worry and anxiety are the biggest culprits of insomnia and sleep problems. Click on the link in the description to join our comprehensive program on how to find your inner peace, on stress management and on trauma healing. Here I will talk about all the other 40 practical and proven things that you can do to sleep better. It's about identifying and breaking down your bad sleep patterns as well as learning about new healthy sleep routines. Choose the ones that suit you the best that you want to try, preferably as many as possible from the advice I will give you and create your own nice evening routine with new sleep habits that you implement in your everyday life. What you consume and when. 1. When you should eat dinner. Eat properly in the evening, but consume dinner at least two hours before going to bed so that you have time to digest the food. 2. Food to avoid in the evening. Avoid coffee, alcohol, tobacco, drugs and other invigorating substances in the evening. Preferably avoid sweets, honey, dried fruit and other foods with a lot of sugar in them or that are converted into sugar in the body, such as white bread, pasta and pizza in the evening as they can contribute to sleep problems. 3. Limit the intake of diuretic foods. Avoid consuming a lot of liquid and water inducing foods just before bedtime so you don't have to get up to urinate at night. Diuretic foods include citrus fruit, asparagus, watermelon, celery, onion, grapes, cucumber, fennel, green tea, nettle, ginger and parsley. Increase your intake and production of melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone produced in the pineal gland in your brain and it can help you relax and feel sleepy. 4. Produce melatonin in total darkness. The body produces melatonin itself when it's dark. The darker you have in your bedroom, the better for your sleep. 5. Avoid lid lights. Lead lights usually have a cold blue light and they make you more awake and alert and reduce your production of melatonin. Learn from the natural light. Sunlight is coldest in the middle of the day and warmest at sunset. 6. Eat foods that contain melatonin. And foods that contain a lot of melatonin are walnuts, oats, grapes, pistachios, mushrooms, corn, eggs, sour cherries, flax seeds, goji berries and feel free to eat them in the afternoon and evening. 7. Eat foods that help you produce more melatonin. Calcium together with tryptophan and vitamin B6 produces melatonin therefore it's good to eat foods with a lot of calcium such as kale, almonds, broccoli, spinach, fatty fish, together with rice later in the day. 8. Make sure you get enough magnesium. Magnesium helps activate neurotransmitters that are responsible for calming the body and the mind, contributing to a deep, restful sleep. It also regulates the hormone melatonin which guides the sleep-wake cycle in your body. Increase your serotonin. Serotonin helps you feel good and counteracts depression, anxiety and sleep problems. 
Serotonin also contributes to the production of melatonin. Here's how you can naturally increase your serotonin levels. 9. Sunlight Expose yourself to direct sunlight during the day, as soon as the weather permits. 10. Eat foods that contain serotonin. Kiwi fruits, banana, pineapple and prunes contain the sleep hormone serotonin and can help you feel calm and sleepy. De-stress. Learn to relax. Meditate, do mindfulness and relaxation exercises. See my YouTube meditation playlist. 12. Get moving. Exercise or go for walks and bike rides. Take the stairs instead of taking the elevator. Stretch and do yoga. 13. Get substances that help you produce serotonin. Eat a well-balanced diet that contains vitamin D, magnesium, zinc, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin C, B1, B2, B6 and B9. Of course, it's best to first find out if you do have a serotonin deficiency because there are some people that overproduce serotonin which can manifest as tremors, headaches, social phobia and anxiety. Be aware what you think about before bedtime. What do you look at, talk about and think about in the hour before you go to bed, especially the half hour before, has a direct impact on how easily or difficult you will fall asleep, as well as the quality of your sleep. The last thing we focus on in the evening tends to enter into our dreams and may remain when we wake up in the morning. 14. Focus on gratitude. Think about happy, nice things, what you're grateful for, and the people that you love before bedtime. 15. Reduce your screen time. Skip TV, especially the news. Social media, porn, gambling, investments and games the hour before going to bed. And remember to not consume them while you are in bed. 16. Unwind. Stop working. Preferably, don't answer work-related emails after dinner or engage in intensive discussions about must-haves, responsibilities and problems at work or school in the hour before bedtime. 17. Skip planning. Avoid thinking about tomorrow's to-do list and don't brood over troublesome things before going to bed. 18. Minimize electrical and Wi-Fi radiation. As far as possible, avoid electronics in the bedroom. Turn off everything that is there. Unplug it and preferably put the phone in airplane mode. If you like to listen to some guided meditations, ASMR or an audiobook, then download it and play it without the Wi-Fi. Create a calm and comfortable environment in the bedroom. 19. A comfortable sleeping place helps with sleep difficulties. Do you have a mattress and pillow that are good for your body? Experiment with different shapes, heights and materials of pillows. If you have lower back problems, you can try placing a pillow between your knees if you lie on your side or under your knees if you lie on your back. Maybe a pillow to hug. Do you have clean, soft sheets and pillowcases? Have you tried a heavier comforter? 20. Darkness and good air promote good sleep. What about light, fresh air and sound? Is the air too dry or too humid? Do you have a cool air temperature? Is it mosquito free, dust and mold free? 21. The bedroom is for sleeping in. If it's possible for you, do not work where you sleep. Try to keep it calm. Try to keep a calm energy there around the clock. 22. Clean and declutter the bedroom. Ask yourself what you can do to improve the environment where you sleep. Declutter, clean out everything that is not necessary in the bedroom. A lot of stuff creates restless 
or active energy in the room. 23. Create a calm, harmonious energy where you sleep. Few things harmoniously placed in calm colors that radiate and symbolize relaxation for you is to strive for. Think about what pictures and paintings you have in your bedroom. What do they say? Do they promote relaxation and a restful sleep? If you're interested in creating the most harmonious environment possible in your bedroom, which will help you sleep well, I can recommend learning about Feng Shui and Vatsu. There are also rituals and incense like white sage which can help to clear the bedroom of so-called negative and stagnant energies. 24. Place plants in the bedroom for better air quality. Choose plants that are calming and that purify the air in your bedroom. Aloe vera, lavender, mother-in-law's tongue, anthrium, peace lily, spider ivy, ivy, lounge palm tree, orchid and philodendron. Create a routine and a sleep ritual. Try to go to bed at the same time every night to teach your body that it should get tired and sleep at a certain time. Set aside time to wind down before going to bed. 25. Go to bed before midnight. There is a lot of research that indicates that the sleep you get before midnight is the most healing and restorative for your brain and cells. So much so that every hour of sleep that you get before midnight is equivalent to three hours of sleep after midnight. 26. Program your internal alarm clock. When you go to bed early at the same time every night, you can easily tell your body to wake up at a certain time on its own in the morning, and your body will do so. We start the day happier when we wake up to our built-in alarm clock. 27. Create a nice ritual before going to bed. Unwind in a warm bath. Warm baths are relaxing and make you sleepy. Add Epsom salts to the bath for increased relaxation. It contains magnesium, which is a muscle relaxant. For those of you who don't have a bathtub, foot baths have a similar effect. 28. Use essential oils to sleep better. These essential oils have relaxing properties. Cedar wood, lavender, neroli, vetiver, frankincense and chamomile. You can drop them in your bath, in your body oil, use them in a ceramic oil burner, on the stove, in a sauna, in an aroma lamp, etc. Ask where you buy the oils or read about the best way to use them. 29. Massage your scalp, forehead, ears and feet. Massage is relaxing and especially head, ear and foot massage as there are so many nerves and meridians gathered there. Take a few minutes and massage your scalp, neck, ears and forehead as well as your feet. Preferably use an oil that is soothing. Regular sesame oil works really well. 30. Do a mindfulness practice or meditate. Take a moment to just land in the present. Dim the lights, light a candle and sit still. Become aware of the here and now. Calmly observe your breathing, your senses and the sensations in your body. The more you practice mindfulness and meditation, the more relaxed you will become and the easier it is for you to fall asleep and sleep well. 31. Cleanse yourself energetically before bedtime. If you don't bathe or shower, I can recommend that you wipe your entire body from head down, out towards the feet, hands and fingers. Imagine that all the negative energy from your thoughts and people you've encountered during the day have formed like a thin layer of dust over your body, which you now brush off properly. Note how you feel afterwards. 32. 
Review your medication with your doctor. It can be good to regularly review your medication with your doctor to see if it has a negative impact on your sleep and, if so, what you can do about it. Don't be too quick to turn in to sleeping pills as they are addictive and can reduce their effectiveness over time. But also be careful if you've been taking sleeping pills for a long time and want to stop that you taper off safely. 33. Learn about herbal remedies for your sleep disorders. Naturopathy, homeopathy, flower extracts and herbal preparations can be very effective in helping you wind down, reduce anxiety and sleep better. If you want to try sedatives, make sure that they are compatible with your current medication, if you take any, and are beneficial to your personal health and constitution. Keep in mind that just because a preparation is natural, it doesn't mean that it's completely harmless and that anyone can use it without any side effects. 34. Try acupuncture for your sleep problems. Many people report amazing sleep results from just a few acupuncture sessions. It could definitely be worth a try if you've never done so. 35. Place crystals by your bed for better sleep. For those interested in crystal energy, there are several crystals that are said to help you relax and sleep better. The most recommended are amethyst and hematite. Amethyst can be placed under the bed or on the bedside table. Make sure there is air around the crystal. It is said to relieve depression and anxiety and helps the body's recovery and cell growth. Hematite is best placed at the foot of the bed and is said to help ground you, calm the mind and ward off nightmares. 36. Hypnosis for relaxation and pain relief. For some, hypnosis helps to sleep better, to relieve pain and to let go of negative, nagging thought patterns and destructive habits. It can be worth trying if you're struggling with insomnia. 37. Sauna for a calm mind and a good sleep. In addition to being a relaxing experience in itself, regular sauna bathing can also reduce anxiety, relieve pain and can improve sleep. Remember to drink plenty of water and to avoid alcohol in the sauna. But saunas are not for everyone. Check that it's safe for you first and that you don't have a fever or an infection going on in your body. 38. Cold baths can relieve and cure mental illness. Combining cold baths with deep conscious breathing can drastically relieve anxiety, stress, depression and pain and lead to much better sleep. Not something I'd recommend to do just before bedtime as it is invigorating and you fall asleep better when you're not cold. 39. Exert yourself physically outside. An old, well-proven method is to do hard physical work or a strenuous activity outside so that you will get physically tired. Then it automatically becomes easier to fall asleep at night. Many of today's problems are linked to too much sitting indoors at computers. 40. Orgasm the shortcut to good sleep. Many say that having an orgasm is the best, fastest, cheapest and most effective way to sleep well for both men and women. When you have an orgasm, you secrete a cocktail of hormones that help you feel relaxed and sleep better, says Rebecca Alvarez Story, sexologist and founder of Bloomy. During sexual arousal, levels of oxytocin can increase significantly and this can have a calming effect on the mind and body and induce a restful sleep, says sexologist Jack O'Reilly, PhD. Now you have received a lot of tips on what you can do to fall asleep more easily and sleep peacefully at night. So to sum it all up, the five biggest sleep thieves are 
that you struggle with stress, anxiety and worry. That you find it difficult to let go of your work or studies in the evening. That you have too much screen time, too late. TV, social media, games, porn. That you have small children that keep you awake. That you have an illness or physical pain that makes it difficult for you to sleep well. The five most important things for a better night's sleep. Learn to relax and unwind with mindfulness, meditation and relaxation exercises. Create a good evening routine. Reduce screen time. Create a calm and harmonious environment in your bedroom. And remember that sexual pleasure is good for sleep. Please let me know what you tried and what works for you. Sleep well!